Monday marks 10 years since the murder of an 18-year-old boy. His family keeps his memory alive as they hope for justice in Shaquille Zachary's murder case. 23 News reporter Kaylee Randall talks with his mother as the Zachary family holds a vigil in Shaquille's honor. Sent to the uh, Madison on a helicopter, and by the time we got there, he had passed. After 10 years, Rockford police still search for the person who shot and killed then 18-year-old Shaquille Zachary in cold blood. And so does his mother, Annette, painfully praying for justice. My son, he was a good kid. Everybody knew him, knew he was a good kid. He was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Shaquille was shot in the 1200 block of South Winnebago Street after leaving a house party in October 2013. Four days and five surgeries later, he died, leaving behind his then eight-month-old daughter. It's a hurting thing. It's hurt so much because you know somebody knows what's going on and they won't speak out. So I'm going through it. I'm really going through it. Shaquille's murderer isn't the only cold case Rockford police spent years trying to solve. Teresa Wildly, a Rockford preschool teacher, was shot and killed in a home invasion in January 2016. Seven years later, her murderer was arrested and the case was closed in March of this year. It made me feel good and I was so happy for the family. I'm happy that they solved that. And I know sooner or later, mine will be too. Annette says as time passes and another year of waiting goes by. It doesn't get easier. <laughs> we love you. Yeah. You know what? Families never get closure. You give you a little peace of mind, but never have closure. Rockford police say this is still a cold case they are investigating and urge anyone with information to come forward. They've interviewed dozens of witnesses with no luck to move this cold case to a closed case. Won't well, nobody give us no answers, really. I'm still waiting. I know one day it's going to happen. And I hope it happens before I leave this earth. Working for you in Rockford, Kaylee Randall, 23 News. If anyone has information on Shaquille's killer or know anything about that night that could help police track down the person, you can submit an anonymous tip or call Rockford Police.